Hi friends! So, this is my 2023 planner setup video. Planners and journals, I guess. This, what you can see here, is my lineup. I know it looks extensive, but I'm only really using two of these daily. And then the other three here on the right are just kind of whenever I feel like it, or like kind of hobby sort of journaling. So, I'm first going to walk through generally what I'm going to use each of these for. And then the rest of the video will be a voiceover um, of me like setting everything up with you and decorating and stuff like that, more of the fun stuff. So let's get started and I'll explain the function for each journal. So this is my Hobonichi A6 Techo, the original one. And I know you can't see the front, but this is actually the Avec version. So this little book is split into six months or it's split into two for the whole year. And this is a daily journal. So it's a page per day, but since it's A6, I thought that I might be able to manage it, especially since I didn't miss any weeks in my Hobonichi weeks last year. So this is one page per day. And I think I'm going to be using this mainly as a journal to write about my day or write about kind of whatever I want and just decorate or put a photo or like any ephemera like receipts and then if i have a particularly busy day with lots of to-dos i'll also use this functionally whether i want to like actually use the little timeline here or just like write out all my to-dos like for things like shop updates when i have a big list that's basically what i'm going to be using this for every day and then i'm also going to have a goals spread at the front on this like blank two gridded pages that they give you and then for the calendar spreads i think i'm going to either do a doodle every day or write a memory i've been doing that in my weeks for the end of 2022 and that's been really fun so i'm gonna see if i can keep that up it's kind of low pressure i don't really care if i fall behind a little bit but that's what i'm going to be using this a6 for it's pretty simple um, I may track in this spread for my 100, I might do books and podcasts or books and TV shows. And then in my weeks, my 100, I'll do like movies and like music or something like that or podcasts. So I'm going to split it up because I feel like I'm going to have a hundred, more than a hundred, especially since I watch a lot of TV shows. As for the accessories for my A6 this year, I did get this little pencil board. It's Hobonichi brand. It's from a previous year. I'm not sure what year, but I like this one. And then I also brought or I also bought a case from a previous year. I believe this is from the 2021 um, lineup, but it's this really nice embroidered like camping themed case and i really love the color i don't actually like to use a clear like cover on cover situation like i have but since this is cream i don't want it to get like dirty right away and i love how it has these month and day ribbons i'll definitely be using those and yeah if this annoys me i might take off the cover but for now it's there and i've put a few little cards in here for fun but I'll probably be putting like stickers and stuff in here or business cards in general. And then little small sticker sheets here. As for my other main planner for the year, this is a Hobonichi Weeks. It's the English version. I got the bow and tie bunnies and I love the bow and tie covers. They feel so nice and they're flexible, but they still lay flat, which is important to me. So I have this little pocket here, which I'll probably decorate these pages in this video later. So for this spread, I think I'm going to be tracking my social media numbers um, each month, just up here. And then I haven't decided what I want to put here. I might not put anything because it's just so tiny. It's not the most functional. For the calendars, this is just my December calendar where I was kind of trying it out. I did start this when the week started, which is like November 28th or something, just to kind of try out different spreads that I want. So for these monthly calendars, I'm going to put like weekly priorities next to each week and then monthly priorities at the bottom. 
and then just different events and stuff within the calendar. It's mostly going to be functional. As for the actual function of the weekly spreads, this is kind of an example. Actually, this is a better example of what my weeks will look like. So I'm thinking I'm doing weekly trackers on the right, which you can see here. Just really simple, straight to the point. This will be a kind of running task list where I can check off when I've worked on that thing. And then depending on what else I may need that week, I will put it here. So sometimes I put my grocery list or what meals um, that we can make that week. Maybe like incoming mail, I've done that. And then on the left here, I'm going to be splitting the column. One third will be for kind of life things like events or appointments or just to do's that to do with that are my life and not business. And then on the right will be shop stuff, business, that kind of thing. All the work stuff basically in the big section. As for the note pages, I believe the English version has yeah, 74 note pages and I will walk through and set up all of these pages um, in the voiceover part of this video, so I'll update you there. But yeah, in general, my Hobonichi Weeks is purely functional, nothing like writing about, no writing about my thoughts or what happened in the day or anything. It's just for to-do lists and functional things and organizing. And then as for tools, I I just have this pencil board that I also got. It's the One Piece collaboration one. It's covered in these sticky notes that are for my setup, but you get the point. I actually have only seen a tiny bit of One Piece, but this is my boyfriend's favorite anime, so I thought it would be fun to get it, and I really like the design. So yeah. Now, as for these three journals, I'm just gonna run through them really quickly since, again, they're not daily or anything, and there's nothing really to set up, so you probably won't see me talking about these in the rest of the video, but this is actually my 2022 journal. There's like a few bullet journal spreads in here, but mostly it's just for like when I want more room to write about a certain thing. So like I did a favorite spread here, or I was doing like fun little creative spreads about the British Bake Off, or I always put like orders that I get, I kind of put like the notes and stuff and swatches from things that I buy. So that is going to continue as this because I only used about maybe half of it. So I will just continue to use this when I want to use B6 and just do a creative spread. This is my favorite. I love the B6 Midori. This is a new addition um, to my little lineup. This is a Hobonichi. It's just a plain gridded notebook. It has no dates, no spreads, no calendars. It's just blank, well, gridded. And I'm going to use this as a media reviews journal. So anything to do with media. So if I read a really good book that I like and I want to write about it or like paste photos or do like collages or write quotes, anything to do with movies, TV shows, anything, that will go in this little guy. The most recent edition, which I've already started in, so it's not necessarily for 2023, but this is a Camel Standard Traveler's Notebook. I just put my little acrylic charm on here that I made. Um, and this is kind of similar to the B6 Midori. It's basically just for like collaging or when I want to do creative spreads. It's obviously like a pretty different format from the B6. It's very like narrow and tall, but I've done a few spreads in here already. I really like them. And yeah, I could see myself using this for other purposes later and just putting more inserts in right now. But right now I just have the one that comes with it, which is the cream blank um, insert that comes with the Traveler's Notebook. And then I have this limited edition um, waxed cotton zipper pocket, I think it's called, something like that, in olive. And yeah, I'm just keeping different stickers, washi tapes, stuff like that inside. 
As for the tools that I'm gonna be using, um, I'll show you a few things that will show up in my setup a decent amount. I'll definitely be using these little printable labels that I made. These are actually from my Patreon, a little digital goodie that I offered. So I think I'll be decorating some of the inside covers with these little labels because I love them and I haven't gotten to use them yet. I think those will be perfect. And then I have a whole bunch of stickers, which I looked through my collection and like chose what I would be okay with looking at for the whole year because these are going to be spreads that I'm going to be coming back to for the whole year. So I didn't want to get annoyed. I know that sounds so dumb. I didn't want to get annoyed with what's on the spread. So I choose chose some pretty neutral things. So I have some little dark academia stickers, functional ones. I have a bunch or all of my new sticker sheets because this is like my ideal aesthetic basically. Stationery, of course, stamps, little forest stickers, and then these clear passport stamps. I also have this other sticker sheet that I made that has tabs for the months, and also these tabs that are just illustrated. Definitely going to be using these in both of my planners, and so that will be in this video. And then I just kind of have an array of other sticker sheets that kind of match what kind of spreads I'm making. Also, as far as like writing utensils go, I'm mostly going to be using um, a Muji 0.38 gel pen. These are like my go-to pen that I always use. I'll also probably use some mild liners, especially the new vintage pack, which I really like. Um, these brush sign pens by Pentel. I love these colors. And then I think that's pretty much it. I may also use my Lamy Safari. It's just my fountain pen. But that's pretty much what you'll see. Okay, you've made it to the voiceover part of the video, aka where I'm actually setting everything up. So I started with my 2023 weeks, which is what you're seeing right now. And the first spread that I'm working on is a when did I last spread. So it's just a bunch of household chore sort of things that I want to mark which month I did it last so that I can do it again next time. And I know it's super out of focus, I promise it fixes within like a minute or two I figure it out but bear with me while it's a little blurry because my hand is in the way but below that when did I last kind of tracker I have um, weeks 1 to 52 horizontally and this is also a chore tracker but it's more things that I do weekly or bi-weekly so like log my business finances wash my bed sheets things like that just so I can like track that and make sure that I'm doing it weekly or whenever I need to. Just because I want to be more on top of things like that, especially since I live with a lot of roommates. Um, it can get a little messy, but this kind of setup idea was from Lindsay Scribbles on YouTube. Um, I definitely recommend you go look at her setups because a lot of my week's setups were inspired by her. She's great. And you'll also see me use these little cleaning stickers that match. These are by Mugo Bunny. They're adorable. As you can tell, I picked out stickers that like matched the spreads as much as I could. And then this is just my little foraging sticker sheet because obviously there needs to be an acorn somewhere. This is my stationary spending tracker. So I'm not on a no buy for 2023, but I'm on a low buy. So trying to limit how much stationary I buy because it's too much and I already have more than I need. And I really just want to use as much as what I have or use as much as I have. Uh, that makes no sense, but I'm trying to use up my collection. That's way too big, basically, is what I'm saying. 
So I'm going to be tracking this just so that I can see and be aware of how much I'm spending on stationery. Um, so I'm just putting things like the date, what I got, the price, things like that so that I can see it more often. And I can also track if anything can be classified as like a business expense, uh, like my planners and things like that. So that's another reason to track this. And I'm using my stationary stickers, which obviously are perfect for this spread and I was so excited to use them. And then this next spread is similar, but it's a grocery spending. Um, I'm hoping I can keep up with this. I'm kind of going by week number for this aiming to just grocery shop once a week, but sometimes you grab snacks and stuff. So I want to also be more aware of groceries so that I can, I can try to save more money and see where I'm spending. So I just have like what store, the amount, the week number, and then a note section just in case. And then I'm using this really cute tape by Ethereal Artiste on Instagram. It's bread, perfect for this spread. Some Moogo Bunny stickers and then some Pocket Peaches stickers, which are adorable. I did a little lineup of these little fruit and vegetable friends and it's adorable. And then I just continued this on the right side as well because I'm not sure how much space I'll need for these kind of spreads. This is kind of my first time doing this in my Hobonichi weeks. And then this spread is business expenses. Again, similarly set up to the other tracking spreads, but I do keep track of all my business expenses and income in an Excel sheet, but I find that I'm like going through my bank account purchases and like trying to sift through them and find my business expenses and what I need to track. So I think this will be much easier and I can also keep track of duties that are kind of an added expense later. If you own a shop or anything, you know what I mean, but hopefully this will be a really helpful spread for me. And then I just used some of my washi tape and my new postage stamp stickers for this spread to make it a little bit more me, even though this is mostly going to be a sad spread of me spending money. So I wanted to make it cute. Then this is just a swatches spread. I just did a little cursive title to keep this one simple. This is also simple, just a little key for marking movies and TV shows in my top 100 spread. And then similarly, this is just another mini key for marking which days I do some sort of active movement, workout, walking, whatever. So I just have a little key for cardio versus like muscular like actually working out so because that's one of my main goals is to be more active and then I also sort of set this up I have 12 pages dedicated to monthly reports in the back of my notes pages so I kind of set up January I didn't really set up the categories that I'm going to write about just because I'm going to do that as I go so that I know how much space I want so I just put a few stickers down and yeah, each day will be a little recap for the month and a little reflection, essentially. And obviously decorating it in advance. <laughs> Usually I'll probably do this at the end of the month. And then this is just setting up the index so that it's easier to go to all the pages and find what I need. And then I'm thinking I can just add to this as I go, since I only filled up about half of the index and not even maybe a third of the note pages are actually used. The rest is empty. So this is a little bit of an interesting spread or thing. It's kind of just a key with these different dot stickers to kind of categorize what I might be taking notes about in all these note pages that I just kind of left empty for now. So I marked three different color dots. One is stationary and art or like, yeah, sorry. One is stationary and art stuff. One is shop business stuff. And then the third is nature animal things. 
two of those are kind of like big special interests of mine and I can imagine myself writing a lot about that kind of thing in the back of my weeks so I just marked those and this kind of system is inspired by Petite Gloom uh, on Instagram or Megan Rhiannon on YouTube and I love her and you need to go check out her videos because she also inspired a lot of my planning setups and is a big inspiration to me. And then you can just see me putting these tiny little bars to write birthdays, which I didn't do all of them. I just did a few right now and I'm going to fill it in later. And then at the beginning of my weeks, I put this printable sticker from my Patreon just for some decoration and wrote 2023 on it. Used this little cute cat sticker from Myberry Art on Instagram and tucked in the stickers that I'll be using for the functional stuff in the little pocket. I also just wanted to add a bit of minimal decoration to some of these more plain spreads, so even just that little bear sticker I added, and I tried to use ones that I've been hoarding for a while and are too precious to use because I know I'll be looking at these spreads a lot, so it feels like I'm not wasting the sticker that I really love. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the 2023 weeks. These are all the spreads that I set up. The last thing that I had to do for the 2023 weeks was set up my tabs. I wanted to keep it minimal just because I think I'm going to put the monthly tabs on my A6 Techo. So I have just the notes tab. This is from my sticker sheet, by the way, that is in my shop. Um, I just have the notes one that leads to the index. And then I put these three illustrated tabs just to the spreads in the back that I think I will be referencing the most. And I marked my little groceries tracker with the apple tab. And I thought that was really cute. And it makes me really happy. Yeah, I kind of like the look of the minimal ones and they're illustrated, so it looks cute. And I'm sure I will end up memorizing what each of them is in a short amount of time. But yeah, I really liked those. And then I didn't show you all of it because it's quite boring, but I set up all the six monthly tabs on my A6 Techo. Also, if you didn't notice, the tabs have this like easy little white strip so that you can put it on the page and make them super even really easily. And like line it up perfectly so yeah the tabs are one of my favorite parts of my setup and then I just did another one of these keys to track podcasts books and video games or even board games in the back of my a6 just in the top 100 and then here I'm just filling the little pockets with some cute little business cards mini stickers and I used another one of those printable labels from my patreon again in this one just to write the year. Again, using some of my most cherished stickers in the spots that I'll see them often because I think that'll make me happy. And there wasn't much to set up, but that's it for the A6 Techo. And also not a lot to set up for my little media notebook. I just used another one of those labels and wrote media journal and the date that it started because I assume this will probably be with me for at least two years so I'll just write the end date when I fill it up in the little box that I hadn't filled out yet and I again just used some of my favorite stationery to decorate the front of this These are some of my favorite stickers that are from my most recent drop. They're these clear matte uh, passport stamp inspired stickers and they look like a real stamp in your journal. I love these. They're so easy to use. So of course I had to put that. And then that was pretty much it for the decorating. Here's just a little mini flip through of the cover. I will put the brand in the description box because I can't remember it off the top of my head. But I have a little stencil in the pocket little decoration and this little planner magnet which I will also link below and that's pretty much it for my cover and very simple setup for my a6 techo I put a little cat 
cut out in the back along with my pencil board and you already saw the little media journal but yeah I think that's it for my 2023 setup that took me ages but I'm so happy with the setup and I can't wait to start using these in January let me know what your setup is looking like what journals are you using what planners are you using a hobonichi and yeah I'm really curious so let me know what you're using uh yeah I hope you enjoyed this video Thank you so much for watching and joining me, and I'll see you next time.